All right, CAD fans. In this video, I'm going to take you from a new file, creating the settings, drawing something, to printing. So if you're ready, let's get started. First thing is I'm going to make a new file, File New. And let's just call this CAD Monster. So that's what I'm going to draw. Remember that I could have picked a different seed file there. I'm going to stick with a default two-dimensional seed. Hit Save and there's my new file. First thing I'm going to do then, I'll maximize this view, just use one. I'll go to Settings, Design File, Working Units, and let's see, I'm going to work in maybe just inches and inches with fractions, just for the heck of it. And maybe we're just working master units for now, since they're both in inches. Hit OK. So my units are set. Then I'll go to Settings, View Attributes, and shut off the grid. That's good. Now I should be pretty much ready to go. So I should save my settings, right? File, Save Settings. Now here's one other handy way. You can have it save every time you exit if you set this thing in Workspace, Preferences, Operation, click on Save Settings on Exit. And then those settings will save each time you exit the program. So that's a little handier way to handle it. All right, so what we're going to do is draw a box. And I just left click. Draw out, and I'm going to type in 48 inches, then hit the tab key. It moves from X to Y, and then I can type in, oops, 48 again. So I have a 48 by 48 box. Left click to finish that. Fit view, there it is. Now I'm going to draw some circles for the eyes. And I want to go a certain distance away from here, so I'm going to tentative click there. Hit the O key, which I haven't talked about yet. That sets the origin. If you look down there, it sets the origin of where I'm starting from. And I'm going to move over 12, hit tab 12, right there. Left click, there's the center of my circle, and maybe I'll make the eyes 8 inches in diameter. Okay, there's one eye. Then I'm going to go to the copy tool and copy that circle from here over I guess it's probably going to be about 24 inches isn't it so let's just type 24 left click again there I got my eyes you notice I can keep left clicking and make more and more copies of that if I want to in this case I don't really want those so I'll just hit undo or control Z next we'll draw in the nose I'll just freeform in a little nose here. Right click to get done with that. And then I'll try out this B spline curve to do the smile. So I'll just left click once, again, again, and you'll see it's kind of making an arc. Left click again, all around like that. And I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that. Right click to stop. Now I've got a 48 inch square CAD monster to print out. Um, so what you can do is just go File, Print, and pick uh, a Windows driver or the Bentley driver. In this case I think it'll just go with my Windows printer that I use a lot of the time. Right there, which is a color laser jet and boardman. Anyways, you can hit the preview there it is. We can print that out. However, one of the beauties of CAD is the ab ability to scale a full-size drawing to a piece of paper at a particular ratio. And scaling is very important. So what you can also do is pick down here the scale, and you can see in, in this case it defaulted to one inch on the paper is nine and three-quarter inches in design. Well, that's not really a good scale, is it? So what I'll need to do is change that scale 
and I can make it anything bigger. Okay, so I got nine and three quarter, probably one to ten would be a reasonable scale in this case, huh? You can also do it different ways. I tend to do paper to design. And okay, see so it didn't change very much in preview. I should be able to just hit the, the printer icon and it'll print outside my office. Another way to do it, which is actually better, is to use the fence tool to select what you want. And what I'll do is left click here, left click over on the other side of it, and then it's going to print what's ever in this fence, whatever's shown in the green box. Often you've got a lot more complicated drawing and you just maybe want part of it, or you want to control how much of it prints. That's the way to go. Hit File Print, back in that same dialog again. In this case, the area is set to Fence instead of View where it was before. So I can do the same thing. You notice my CAD Monster is a lot bigger in the box here, and my scale it defaulted to 1 to 5 and 3 quarter, which is goofy, but let's switch it back to, I mean, 1 to 10 is the next scale up. So we'll work with that. Uh, and then what I can also do is print it to a PDF file. Now you don't need any Adobe software, any additional writers. This all comes standard with Bentley MicroStation, except we gotta, we got to select the PDF printer configuration file by doing that. Okay, so I went to File, select Bentley Driver, Pick the PDF. All right. Now we can just print it. It wants to know where to go with it. By default, it goes to this directory way deep in out. I'm going to go to my CIE 101 folder. We'll just call it CAD Monster. No, that's not what I wanted. CAD Monster. PDF. Try that. It does it, and then if I switch to you know, showing my directory, there it is. I'll double click on it, it opens up. You can't quite see the whole thing, but there it is in a PDF file. So if you don't have a working printer at home and you want to take this on campus and print it on one of the public printers, print it to a PDF file to scale, upload it to your first class, Go to the lab, download it from first class, and print it. That's one nice workaround. Okay. So there. Now you're well on your way to learning how to draw fancy things like this in MicroStation. See, that looks uh, kind of like the dorm rooms up there on the hilltop, doesn't it?